Solid wastes can be classified and explained in a number of ways. One common classification system is based on their source, as described above. Another common classification system is based on their type, biodegradable waste. Biodegradable waste is waste that can be broken down by biological organisms, such as bacteria and fungi. This includes food waste, yard waste, and paper products. Biodegradable waste can be composted or sent to a landfill. Non-biodegradable waste. Non-biodegradable waste is waste that cannot be broken down by biological organisms. This includes plastic, metal, and glass. Non-biodegradable waste can be recycled or sent to a landfill. Hazardous waste. Hazardous waste is any waste that poses a threat to human health or the environment. This includes toxic, flammable, corrosive, and reactive materials. Hazardous waste must be disposed of in a special way to protect human health and the environment. Here are some examples of solid wastes, classified by type, biodegradable waste, food waste, yard waste, paper products, wood scraps, animal waste, non-biodegradable waste, plastic, metal, glass, ceramics, construction and demolition waste, hazardous waste, batteries, paints, pesticide, solvents, electronics, medical waste. Solid wastes can also be classified by their physical characteristics, such as their size, shape, and density. This classification system can be useful for designing and operating solid waste management systems. For example, large, bulky items, such as appliances and furniture, may need to be collected and transported separately from smaller items, such as food waste and paper products. Hazardous waste may also need to be collected and transported separately to prevent it from contaminating other wastes. By understanding the different types of solid waste and their characteristics, we can develop effective waste management strategies that protect public health and the environment. The various factors affecting solid waste management systems include institutional factors. These factors include the government's policies and regulations, the availability of funding, and the capacity of local governments to manage waste. Social factors. These factors include the population size and density, the level of economic development, and the public's awareness and attitudes towards waste management. Financial factors. These factors include the cost of collecting, transporting, and treating waste, and the availability of revenue to support waste management services. Technical factors. These factors include the availability of technologies for waste collection, transportation, treatment, and disposal. Environmental factors. These factors include the climate and geography of the region, and the presence of natural resources that can be used for waste management, such as land for landfills and water for wastewater treatment. Two factors that can have a significant impact on solid waste management systems are institutional factors. The government's policies and regulations can have a major impact on the effectiveness and efficiency of solid waste management systems. For example, strong regulations on waste disposal can help to reduce the amount of waste that is sent to landfills and encourage recycling and composting. Social factors. The public's awareness and attitudes towards waste management can also have a significant impact on the success of waste management programs. For example, if the public is not aware of the importance of recycling or composting, these programs will be less effective. Examples of institutional factors that can affect solid waste management systems. The availability of funding for waste management services. The capacity of local governments to manage waste. The existence of clear and effective waste management policies and regulations. The level of coordination between different government agencies responsible for waste management. Examples of social factors that can affect solid waste management systems. The population size and density. The level of economic development. The public's awareness and attitudes towards waste management. The cultural norms and values related to waste disposal. By understanding the various factors that can affect solid waste management systems, we can develop more effective and sustainable waste management solutions.
The various factors affecting solid waste management systems can be divided into five categories. 1. Institutional factors. Institutional factors include the government's policies and regulations, the availability of funding, and the capacity of local governments to manage waste. Policies and regulations. The government's policies and regulations can have a major impact on the effectiveness and efficiency of solid waste management systems. For example, strong regulations on waste disposal can help to reduce the amount of waste that is sent to landfills and encourage recycling and composting. Funding. Adequate funding is essential for providing effective waste management services. This includes funding for waste collection, transportation, treatment, and disposal. Capacity. Local governments must have the capacity to manage waste effectively. This includes having the necessary staff, equipment, and infrastructure. 2. Social factors. Social factors include the population size and density, the level of economic development, and the public's awareness and attitudes towards waste management. Population size and density. The size and density of the population can affect the amount of waste generated and the cost of waste management services. Economic development. The level of economic development can affect the type of waste generated and the public's willingness to pay for waste management services. Public awareness and attitudes. The public's awareness and attitudes towards waste management can have a significant impact on the success of waste management programs. For example, if the public is not aware of the importance of recycling or composting, these programs will be less effective. 3. Financial factors. Financial factors include the cost of collecting, transporting, and treating waste, and the availability of revenue to support waste management services. Cost. The cost of waste management services can be a significant challenge for local governments. This is especially true in developing countries. Revenue. Local governments must have access to sufficient revenue to support waste management services. This revenue can come from a variety of sources, such as taxes, fees, and user charges. 4. Technical factors. Technical factors include the availability of technologies for waste collection, transportation, treatment, and disposal. Technologies. There are a variety of technologies available for waste management. The choice of technology will depend on the specific needs of the community and the availability of resources. 5. Environmental factors. Environmental factors include the climate and geography of the region, and the presence of natural resources that can be used for waste management, such as land for landfills and water for wastewater treatment. Climate and geography. The climate and geography of the region can affect the type of waste generated and the challenges of waste management. For example, extreme weather events can make it difficult to collect and dispose of waste. Natural resources. The presence of natural resources that can be used for waste management can affect the cost and effectiveness of waste management systems. For example, communities with access to landfill sites will have lower costs for waste disposal than communities without access to landfill sites. It is important to consider all of these factors when developing and implementing solid waste management systems. By understanding the factors that can affect solid waste management systems, we can develop more effective and sustainable solutions.